already need this. All this. When I'm planning to eat an Easter egg. This is an Easter egg that has been exposed to the sun. It looks quite normal until I do this. I'll show you an alternative use for an Easter egg. This is what I do every Easter. It's just, just it's silly and that's what it is. <laughs> Here's an Easter egg right here. We don't need this. Just put that away. This is why. Now be careful, if you actually get a sunny day at Easter, this may become a little bit temperamental. There we go, that's smart as he's spread there. Let's just get that unwrapped. We've got to ever so carefully prise it open like this, so it's more or less good enough. We've got the perfect bowl. And we get our delicious cereal out, Tana Brown, lots of fibre in there to counteract this high sugar diabetes inducing diet. Nice amount of uh, cereal in there. And we get our milk. And it's just as simple as that. There we go. Won't melt either. So you can definitely enjoy your Easter egg chocolate bowl every year. Yeah, you might want to be a bit more careful than I've been. Right, so there we go. And uh, there you go. See? Mm. Works perfectly. Mmm. And you're finished. Start eating the bowl. Don't do it until you're finished, because that'll happen. There you go. <laughs> well, people should throw all sorts of things away, including washing lines and even whole bits of the garden, but uh, this has got an extra use. Not only can you eat from Easter eggs, you can also drink from them. I was going to show you using this old bike as a representation. There you go, we can put the Easter egg neatly in here, we can fill it with water and then, actually riding along, you have the perfect cheap water bottle. The only thing is, you're probably best doing this in January or February and not when it's actually a nice sunny day, or you might find that the water bottle starts to melt. Just to remind you of what you should be doing after you've eaten copious amounts of Easter eggs, they can also be useful in the bathroom. Yeah.